Microsoft blocking installation of Windows 11 on unsupported devices. This is what people are discussing on the internet. But let's find out. Is it true? Today I will show you how to create a bootable USB drive with Windows 11 23 H2 version for unsupported devices. Also, I will install the latest version of Windows 11 on Lenovo ThinkPad L430 laptop. For people who don't know, this laptop since 2013. Many of my subscribers may think that this is a joke because I already have a similar videos about 22H2 version. But listen, 23H2 version is a completely different version. And theoretically, Microsoft could make drastic changes for unsupported devices. So let's get started. First of all, we need to open our browser. I will open Microsoft Edge browser. Then you need to type next. Download Windows 11. Press enter. Here you may see Microsoft official website, microsoft.com. A link I will leave in the video description. Click on it. On this page, you may notice that we can download the latest 23H2 version. Scroll down a little bit until you will see download Windows 11 disk image ISO for x64 devices. Then you need to click on select download and select Windows 11 multi-edition ISO. Click on download now. At this stage, you need to select the suitable language. For example, I will select English United States. Click here and select confirm. As you can see, we have info, download Windows 11 English in my case. So you need to click on 64-bit download. Downloading process begin. As you can see, this is Windows 11 23H2 English and it takes 6.2 gigabytes of space. I need to wait about 20 minutes to download an ISO file. As you can see, I successfully downloaded Windows 11 23H2 and now one more time we need to open our browser to download and install Rufus or we will run a portable version. So here you need to type Rufus, download, and press enter. Most likely you will see this info, scroll down a little bit until you will see Rufus downloads. Of course, I will leave a link in the video description. Click on Rufus downloads. From this page, we can download the Rufus program. This program is quite convenient. We can create a portable operating system. Also, we can create a bootable USB drive. In my case, I will select this version, the latest portable version. That's mean it's not necessary to install this version because it will run as a portable application. So I will click here. I succeed. Now we can open the folder, click on show in folder, close the browser. No need to use it anymore. Now please pay attention and take your time because we need to install our USB stick into the laptop or PC. I recommend to have at least 8 GB of storage. I think it will be the minimum requirements to create a bootable USB stick. If you have 4 GB or 2 GB, sorry, it will be not suitable. My friends, I successfully connected my USB stick into the laptop. It has 32 GB of storage. And yes, in the past there was Tiny11. Actually, it doesn't matter because all information will be deleted from your USB drive. So if you have some important files or data on it, I recommend to save them before doing this. After you install USB stick into the laptop, we need to run Rufus. Double click, select yes. Do you want to allow Rufus to check for application updates online? I will select no because this is the latest version. We are in the Rufus. Everything is very simple. In the device, you need to select your USB stick. Indeed, it is my USB drive, Tiny11, 32 gigabytes of storage. Next, you need to select ISO. So for this, you need to select disk or ISO image here. And after that, you need to move the mouse cursor and click on select. Navigate to the place where is your ISO file. So in my case, I need to navigate to desktop. So I will click on this PC, select desktop, mine, and here it is, Windows 11 23H2. Click here and select Open. Good. After that, in the image option, leave standard Windows installation, because if you select Windows to go, it will create a portable operating system. But in our case, we want to create a bootable USB drive to install Windows 11 on HDD or SSD drive. Select standard Windows installation. 
As you can see in the target system, by default, we have UEFI and we cannot change this option. But if you want to run in legacy mode, legacy support quite older models, you need to select GPT partition to MBR. Then if you wish, you can name your file. For example, I will type Windows 11 23H2 and click on start. In this window, I recommend to check all of these boxes. As you can see, we can remove requirements for 4 gigabytes of RAM, secure boot and TPM 2.0. Also, we can remove requirement for an online Microsoft account. We can create a local account. One more time, I recommend to check all of these boxes. I think it will be the best solution and click OK. Here we have warning, all data will be deleted, destroyed, so be sure to save all important files before deleting all information from your USB drive. And click OK. The process of creating a bootable USB drive with Windows 11 23H2 begin. In our situation, we just need to wait and then we will proceed to the next stage. Mission accomplished, now we can close this window and safely remove USB stick from the laptop. But for this, we need to click here, select our USB drive, click on it. And after seeing this message, you can safely remove your flash drive from the laptop. It's been a while since I last time showed this laptop. This is Lenovo ThinkPad L430 laptop. And today this laptop will try to handle Windows 11 23H2. First, I want to say, even some older laptops and computers cannot run Windows 22H2. So don't be surprised if some machine cannot run Windows 23H2. Let's move forward. As you can see, I created a bootable USB drive. This is my USB stick and it has 32 gigabytes bytes of space. Right now I'm going to insert this USB stick into the laptop. My advice for you, I think it will work on most machines, so you can turn on your laptop or PC and press F12 key. There is a high probability that it will enter a boot menu. Turn on the machine and press F12 key. In this window you need to select your USB stick. With Windows 11, so in my case, I need to select a USB HDD, USB SanDisk 3.2, first generation. I will press enter. Right now, you may see Windows 11 logo. So I will not activate Windows 11. I will just try to install Windows 11 and get the latest updates. Here we are in the installation window. Select next, install now. As I previously said, I don't have a license, so I will select I don't have a product key. For example, I will select Windows 11 Pro, click on next, and voila, now we can install a Windows. Check all agreements and terms, click next. Now I will select advanced option, select each of these partitions and delete them. The thing is, this hard drive has 320 gigabytes. If you want to install Windows 10 or Windows 11, you can allocate about 80 gigabytes, or if you wish, you can allocate 100 gigabytes. I think it will be more than enough. Click on new, and for the example, you can type 83,000 megabytes, select apply, click OK. As you can see, we successfully allocated almost 81 gigabytes of space. So now we can choose this partition and click next. Now we just need to wait. You will not see any messages that you need to bypass Windows 11 system requirements or your system doesn't meet Windows 11 system requirements. I successfully installed Windows 11 on an HDD drive and laptop may restart several times. That's normal. Don't worry about that. Will Microsoft block Windows 11 on this old laptop? My friends, I successfully connected to the internet and now let's check the version of the Windows. So I will click on the system, open it in full screen to make it more convenient. First of all, you may notice that I have Intel Core 3110M processor, base frequency is 2.4 GHz. And if we scroll down a little bit, you may notice that we have Windows 11 Pro 23H2 version. I want to share my thoughts on this. I didn't receive any messages about bad compatibility with Windows 11. So in my case, this laptop works on Windows 11. Moreover, I will try to get the latest updates. Whether you like it or not, but it automatically starts searching for the latest updates. As you can see, I receive almost all of these updates. 
one update isn't available actually it is intel hd graphic driver it's not a big deal because i can manually install this driver for windows 10 and it will work without any problems fellas i want to say one very important thing if your laptop or PC doesn't work stably on Windows 11, just go back to Windows 10. Yes, I know Windows 10 will support till 2025. It's still good operating system. It works stably with most old laptops and even with newer machines. For example, my current laptop, not this one, works stably on Windows 10. So if you would like to install it on an SSD drive, believe me, it will work faster. My conclusions. At the moment, I managed to install Windows 11 on an unsupported device, but I will not be surprised if in the future Microsoft will block this opportunity. If this video was helpful for you, please like it and I recommend watching this video on how to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 23H2 on an unsupported PC.